Well, and this bitterly cold weather is giving commuters the chills. Fios One Steve Saunders is in Yonkers talking with some of them to see how they're dealing with these frigid temps. On this very cold day, Thomas Myers of Yonkers is happy he has a warm place to wait for the train on Buena Vista Avenue. Stay here and keep warm. Okay. Too cold outside. This is the last winter season he'll be commuting in the bitter cold. I have six more weeks. I'll be retired on March the 27th. Temperatures will struggle to make it into the double digits today, and anyone outside could be at risk for frostbite or even hypothermia. It's more the wind. When you're walking, you don't feel that much. When that wind starts hitting you, it feels like it's cutting your face. But it's just freezing. That's why I'm sitting in the train station waiting on his bus. To prevent injury, local officials are warning residents to bundle up. Don't forget a hat, gloves, and scarf when you step out the door today. These commuters have the right idea. Under armor, gloves, two pairs of socks. I put on layers and layers of clothing. Okay, we'll go get warm. Doctors say even drinking something hot before you leave the house, like tea, could help with blood circulation and keep you warmer. Mr. Myers has his own preference on a cold day like this. And I drink hot chocolate before I leave the house. Well, a hot chocolate sounds good right about now. Well, today might be one of the coldest days of the winter season so far, and more cold weather is on tap for this weekend. Reporting in Yonkers, Steve Saunders, Fios 1 News.